Hello everyone, my name is Alex. This is an episode of a course, How to Learn Java Within 50 Days. Link to the full playlist is in the description below. In this episode, specifically, I'm going to cover print statements. Now, what a print, print statement is, I did actually show you in the last tutorial, but we were going to cover a bit more, I'm going to cover a bit more in this tutorial or in this course, in this episode of the course. Um, so, yeah, sure, let's just go ahead. Now, a print space statement, as you can remember, is a system, for example, a system out of print line. And just like, hello world. And then, if I run it, my mouse isn't working, but sure. Okay, hello world, it says. Now, we can also do another version of this by just typing in print. Now this is going to do for your eye. It's actually just saying hello world right now. But if we look a bit further further into this and we make first we make a print line. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to make three of them. Then I make a print and I type I like pork and the hello world again when I run it we're actually gonna get hello world I like pork hello world now the difference between print line and print is that the print line one just wanna continue on that line and then he is gonna basically move anything that's after himself to a new row so, for example, now, I got the hello world here, the print line is taking up this this line here. And uh, then it basically moves the print down to a new row. But if this one would have been print 2, it would actually stay on the same row. So, just print, hello world, and it basically doesn't care if there's anything on the same line, just right after him. But if it would have been print line again, it would actually do that. And uh, so, so basically, for for example, now if we would print out a system out of print before this one, like we have here, like uh, I like random stuff, and I would run this, the results is going to be uh, or are going to be um, I like random stuff, hello world. I like poor color world. And now this might might sound a bit complicated as I try to explain this, but it's actually not not that difficult. Um, there's actually just one more thing I want to show you and then then I would like you to kind of try learning this. So let's let's do the last one here. Now this one is gonna be a bit complicated. This is something that you don't need to learn uh, right now that, we, that you can actually learn later on. Because we, you're not going to get that much usage for it as of now, but it is going to going to become practical uh, eventually when when we move further into this this course. So if you just begin with the system out the print and type instead of line and print, you're going to type an F. Now what the F does is basically you got a text and it's not supposed to be our but you got a text, and in this text there are basically going to be different percentages, different parameters inside this text, telling Java what there is going to be in there. Um, oh yeah, that sounded really complicated, even even for me. But for example, if I type I like pork, and then like I am uh, I um, let's say let's say it's some sort of like program that just displays if you like pork or not so then we can simply do actually let's do something like this I have got hmm <laughs> cats then we maybe want the program to tie, tell us something specifically then what we can do now we're going to talk m more about this in the, le in the next tutorial how we can actually uh, how we can put strings and uh, numbers together or in the next episode but um, I have got 
percentage D cats. Then after this line, we're going to do a comma, and we are going to type in a value. Now, variables is something we're going to discuss in the ne next tutorial. I'm just going to do this for explanation purposes. So uh, let's say it's a f we type in a 5 there, and then we run it. So can you guess what it's going to be? Well, it's going to be I have got 5 cats. And why is this? Well, the percentage D stands for decimal. So it's basically a decimal right there. And then this takes a variable, a number variable, which we typed in. Now, in this case, we typed in 5. And that's going to give us 5 cats. So I can just change this to 8. Run it. I've got 8 cats. It's as simple as that. And uh, again, in the next, in the next, um, in the next, episode we are going to talk about um, variables integers uh, doubles etc so I hope you enjoyed and well if you enjoyed it please please rate uh, leave a comment on this video and favorize if you'd like to and don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you again next time bye